Hey y'all, Dr. Brittany here, AKA Teeth and Tendrils. I literally just got home from work, so I am still in dentistry mode and I'm ready to answer some more of your questions. So I recently got this question from one of my followers. Why is my dentist suggesting a root canal or filling for extraction? And that is a great question that I am ready to answer. Basically, long story short, if it's not hurting you now, it's gonna hurt and I can pretty much guarantee that. So if your dentist recommends a filling or a root canal or an extraction, it's for a good reason. Now, let me explain the difference between those. If you come to me and I see you've got a cavity that I can either see in your mouth or I can see on the x-ray that I take, uh, we can just fill that with a silver filling or a white filling and just send you on your way. It's small enough to where a filling will do. Now, as cavities are untreated, they tend to grow, get bigger. So once a cavity grows and it's close to the nerve of your tooth and or there's signs of infection either clinically when I look at you or radiographically on the x-rays, that to me indicates that the tooth needs a root canal. And root canals are just like super scary, like, ah, root canal. Um, it's not the worst thing in the world, y'all trust me. Basically, a root canal is just where obviously we would get you numb and we just clean out the nerve. And the reason that we clean out the nerve of the tooth is because with the cavity itself being so big, it's either at the nerve or it's already gotten to the nerve. And when the nerve is infected, it can either cause pain in the future or it's caused pain in the past. Either way, we need to get rid of that source of infection, which is the infected nerve. So that's basically what a root canal is, just a glorified filling, if you will. We clean out the nerve, we put a filling material inside your root, and we keep it moving. Now, if the cavity has continued to grow and it's gotten big enough to where it's pretty much way below your bone level, or there's just hardly no tooth structure left, that's when your dentist recommends an extraction. And obviously, you know, you could replace a tooth that's been extracted with an implant or a partial. That's a whole nother video. But yeah, so the point is, we don't just do this for fun, like we're doing it to help you. So my advice, see a dentist regularly every six months. Let's catch those cavities while they're small so that we don't even have to think about a root canal or an extraction. That's all I got for y'all for now. Um, I'm going to take a nap, because like I said, she just got off of work and she's beat, honey. But please, please, please like, comment, share. If you've got any more dental questions, please feel free to ask. I am here for y'all giving out this dental advice just from my experience, and I can't wait to film the next one. Talk to y'all soon, bye.